Good morning guys. So I'm coming live from Puerto Princesa. So I've been in this island of Palawan, okay. Puerto Princesa is in Palawan in the Philippines for now six plus months from February. So I'm planning to leave the island, okay. I'm planning to leave the island and go to Manila, which is the capital. So, and I've already booked my flight. My flight is supposed to be in three days from now. So I just uh, messaged the tourism office here to know if I need any documents before I fly out. And this is what they said. So they, they sent me this message. I don't know if you can see this. So this is what they said right there, you see. I need some certificate from the Baragay. That's like the municipal, something like that, okay? Then I need a medical certificate, which I should get it at the Colisam, uh, and a travel authority from the city police station. Wow, man. All I need is you, baby, baby. is more complicated than I thought man good morning guys so today is a very special day because I'm supposed to submit this paper okay of uh, big brother condotel you know big brother condotel is this place where I'm staying I'm coming live from Puerto Princesa Palawan Island in the Philippines and I'm supposed to go to Manila okay because Manila is the capital city of uh, the Philippines I've never been to this place but this is where I'm staying the name of this place they're called Big Brother Suites and they are very very nice people man I met the boss the other day he was so nice Actually, he bought me some chicken wings. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you if you're watching this, uh, Mr. Big Brother. Anyway, I'm talking about this paper, you know? So, I'm taking it to the authorities here so that uh, they can decide if... Hey, my friend! How are you? Okay, yeah. Oh, it's chaotic here, look, man. You know, life is back, but not really back. So, the way you see it, life looks like normal, but in reality, hello, good. So, life looks normal, but in reality, it's like 50-50, it's like gambling, you know? So I'm checking there, I'm checking here. Oh. So I'm going to... Let me take my mask off so you can hear me. So I'm going straight, straight that way, okay? That's because I'm going to the offices of... Uh, the municipal offices. That they should give me some permissions to fly. I'm supposed to fly in the next two days from this island to the capital. So they told me to submit my passport, which I did, and they asked me to submit this letter showing where I've been staying. And also, they asked me to go for a medical checkup someplace. Then from that medical checkup, I need to go to the police so that they can give me the travel kind of pass. I don't. I don't understand how police are involved in this but it's not just for the first time even when my girlfriend Bo was traveling to Thailand she had to get some permission oh. even when my girlfriend was traveling she had to get some permission from the police so this is Barang Barangay managing hall so Barangay just means like uh, city hall something like that okay local local government that means barangay so it's right here but i don't want to go there with cameras pointing on 
public offices with cameras. Let me turn the camera off. But it's right here on this green. On this green, green, green gate, right here. Okay. Wow. It's right here. Oh, so I just came from there. That's nice. So I just came from that barangay and they gave me this certificate. I don't want to put details to the internet, but this paper is right there. That way. So they told me I need to go to the city Coliseum after this and ask for travel certificate. So technically what they do is uh, what they do is this letter is supposed to say they know about you like they know who you are they know where you are staying at least they know some history they can track oh man there's some noise here oh yeah i'm i'm, I'm going to eat maybe i need to buy some parcel to put my documents Oh, oh! Looks so busy. Let's let's cross here. So technically, what this paper does is to is to let the other authorities know, like. They have some history about me. They know, they know something about me. So now I have it. I need to go to the city Coliseum first. Let me eat, fill my stomach. Then from there, I think I forgot my passport. So go pick my passport, then head to the city Coliseum. Then from there, I think I need to visit the police station, something like that. So okay. let's go this way. So this is where I eat every day and also I need to do a video saying goodbye to Eliza and her family. Hello! Hey. <laughs> What's <Hey>. up? <laughs> hey, you said hey together. That's hey. a good sign. Hey. You see I have my papers. Soon I travel. Wow! Yeah, soon I go to another place. So maybe these are my last days, Friday, you know? Again? No, no, Friday, Friday? Uh, in two days. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Let me eat chicken tenola. No, chicken cinnamon palopan, and then your bubbly telling you your body. Oh. oh, this one? Yes. What is this? The last one. Your bubbles. Yeah, it's a, what does it, is it? Chicken inside or no, fish? Fish. Chicken. Which one can I have now? I'm so confused. Oh, she has to confirm if it's chicken or. Uh, what is here? Pork or chicken or fish? It's fish. I can see fish. Yeah, it's fish. Okay. So, yeah, serve me two of them. Yeah. This one? What do you think? I think I need two of them. Yeah. Okay, let me try one. Let me try one first. This is for the fish. You know, even me, I'm, I love this food a lot. Like sometimes I get confused which one I want, which one I don't want. Anyway, guys, let me eat here. Then I'll be telling you how it goes, like this process, okay? So I'm having this. I think it's like fish tenola. I don't know actually what tenola means, but I always see it's like chicken tenola is more of this. The only difference is we don't have fish, but we have chicken. So I really like this type of foods because they are more, you know, organic and they fight disease, you know, like naturally. And that's what I'm trying to do here. And I always eat two rices because they give me energy to move around and to jump here and there, you know. I just finished my meal right there. I'm supposed to pick a tricycle to this place called Colosseum and that's where I'll get my kind of health certificate but let's go and see what to expect there you know 
and it's it's funny because uh you know everybody's kind of coughing in a short way like <clears throat> or you know in one way or the other you like kind of qualify oh let me let me see this guy uh oh so they are they are they are full but i'll get one somewhere in front that way so let me go and see what to expect so i need two more documents as i already showed you i have already one here with me so i'm looking for two more but i think the one i'm going for is the most important probably but i think all they are so i'm heading there to social distance Okay, thank you. thank you. Thank you, man. So, I'm supposed to be here and try to see if I can get some service. I don't even know where to start from, so I have to turn the camera off. Oh, there are too many people here, man. Thousands. So, I'm in this, I'm in this massive hall. I just came to collect my medical docu document and I just got it. So now I'm good to go. I'll be explaining this uh, process later. But it's really much better, you know. It's been easy and I'm so surprised how the government is putting a lot of resources to, to this COVID. See the whole of this entire building like this. So I'm officially leaving this place. It's, it's been very smooth, very easy, and I'm going home. It didn't take me that long. This is the food, you see, a lot of food being packed here. So today is another day. I came to this place, it's called Colosseum. It's Colosseum, Colosseum. It looks pretty, as you see, it's front here. It's a bit drizzling and raining, but that's the building. City Coliseum is like museum, but it's so beautiful. A lot of activities happening there and they are building a huge fountain here, as you see. Maybe they're just reconstructing it. So I'm heading home. I just got my medical certification from right that building right there in Puerto Princesa. And So now, I'm, I'm here in the police station waiting for clearance. It's really difficult and uh, we are many of us. So, travel has become really difficult. It's not the way it used to be, man. Just checking on the flights and jumping into planes. Things are very, very different now. So I just got my clearance. It's right here. Uh, I don't know shop maybe this sorry I just want to show this part say COVID shield okay so it's called COVID shield and I just finished with the local police authority they were really nice very straightforward corruption free you know they didn't ask anything that's so good you know that's that's the world we want so and not only here but the whole process has been very transparent not malicious so i want to say uh, congratulations to the authorities for that okay philippines authority very straightforward i'm trying to imagine if it was my home but okay that's a story for another day so now they just told me i can book my flight which i already booked i should be leaving the island in two two days anyway i'm excited and that is the process, man, of getting documents here. The, now I think I'm ready to go. I have the three major... Let me go this way. Let me go that. I have the three major requirements. Number one is you have to go to the local authority around your area. Call it like councillor. 
Here they call it local bar barangay, okay? The local barangay will, will get in touch with where you are staying to confirm you've not shown any symptoms of COVID and stuff, and they will give you some documents, certification to show like you are not sick and you are healthy to travel, okay? Not showing any symptoms, cough, sore throat, or high temperatures and many other COVID related so then they will send you to this place medical this coliseum to come and get your medical certif certification then from there you'll have to go to the police because the police have to check those documents if you followed them so here it's like it's like being a criminal if you break those laws so that is how it is and now i'm right here I need to pick a tricycle back to my home. That way. Okay. That way. Wow, hardworking Filipino. Oh. <laughs> oh, I need to cross right here. The place I can cross here. Maybe. So I would have rode this local local taxi but let me see where this guy is going. Hey my friend Jolly B Jolly B Okay so let me uh, back or here Okay sure let me write this Hello Wow I have never taken a ride with this local uh, kind of taxis or vehicles. Let me clean my lens. But let me see how it goes here, man. Yeah. Uh, you know, being a foreigner is like... That's our driver. He's taking it down. It's amazing. And I think the cost is way, way cheaper, like super cheap. But I feel really better because I'm relieved to have these documents. So tomorrow, my flight is tomorrow. And I need to print my documents. Oh. All I need is you, baby, baby.